All right, so let's jump right into the video. I am going to moisturize, of course, nothing's changed. I'm kind of going for that whole like Christmas, Christmas party vibe. I look directly into my light up there. It fucking blind me. So I'm going for like this Christmas, like Santa baby type of vibe. I'm kind of going, yeah, for that Christmas party, maybe New Year's vibe look. I don't know. My hair is like, needs to get washed ASAP. And I just washed it yesterday. I just need to put some dry shampoo in it. But I have finally been able to do a talk through video versus a voiceover. Granted, voiceovers are not bad. It's just, I don't know, I feel like I'm having to talk really, really fast. I picked up some new stuff. Um, Target has sleek makeup. I did not know that. This is a, I believe it's a European company. Yeah. It's a European company and um, I first noticed them when Jeffree Star was wearing, not Jeff, Jeffree Star and Jamie Genevieve were wearing the, um, the highlighter. Like that highlighter was amazing. And so I was at Target last night getting some stuff for Christmas and um, I saw they had like Makeup Geek. Oh, and FRI, let me just go ahead and put in there that if you hear anything in the background, it's the kids cleaning. Okay, it's Sunday. So I'll try my best to get that, to not have that in the video, but you know, life. How cute is it? Like, just like cute, sleek packaging. Oh, and don't. Don't look at that. Don't look, don't look at that. Don't pay attention. Don't come for me from right now. Do not come for me. This is in the shade medium. Oh, and then I picked up this Pixie um, Glow Mist. It's like a makeup prep and then a makeup set. And I was like in dire need of a, of a setting spray like Your girl's been tripping the last like a month or so. I haven't been setting my face and I've hated it. Like, hated it. See, this is the Glow Mist with Argon Oil and let me see if I can get it to focus. So it says, before makeup hydrates, protects and nourishes. After makeup sets, adds a dewy finish and protects. Anytime refresh makeup hydrates and adds glow. Shake to mix, close eyes and mist over face and neck for all skin types. It's also paraben free and not tested on animals. I really like that mist. Get it on my forehead, cause my forehead dry as fuck. Just hold on, Sean. I had this Carrez lip butter. I've had it for a while, and it's lasted me a really long time. Cause you only need, you only need it just a little bit. So it's really, really good. All right, so we're going for that makeup. Like, oh me, I just threw this on type of look. I feel like we should do our brows and our eyes first because I just don't know like if we're gonna get into glitter and you know if we get into glitter then there's gonna be a mess everywhere and I would hate I've messed up my makeup. Oh, you know what I do need? I need to get some more mascara. I am like t running out. I've been on, I've been into my pomade here lately, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm going to go in with my shard. Shard. 
<laughs> oh my god, I always say that. My Tarte Shape Tape. What the fuck, Lauren? Get your life together. Uh, and use that as my base because I like the way it dries down and all that jazz. I'm gonna go ahead and just set it with my in my Carly Bible palette. I'm gonna just take this color right here on a flat brush and I'm gonna just set it. Okay, so when you go in and why I do this is because when you set it with an eyeshadow, it's really easier to blend with other eyeshadows that you're you're about to use on your lid. I want to do a red lip for sure and I think I want to do maybe like a gray cut crease or something like that. Maybe we could take musk and the Huda Beauty palette, the desert dust palette. We'll take that color right there. Let's put it on this. Go in with my Morphe M330 M330 brush. It's like a small taper blending brush. Dip into that and let's just do it right above the crease. Let's just start at the end and then make small, like touch it very small because we don't want our like, we don't want it to be like heavy. So it's just going to be like barely there almost. Going with my Luxie 231 Small Taper Blending. It's the same, almost like the same thing, except this one for some reason is just like really small and precise. It, a tip, if you look down into your mirror, like if you look down like this, um, into your eyeshadow, you won't um, have to raise your brows. Which causes wrinkles. Now let's go ahead and cut our crease. I'm going to take it old school and I'm going to dig into my Vice Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. I'm going to take Shell Shock. Such a pretty color, still very pigmented. That is gorge. Okay. Rewind this color right here. It's just so standard brown. Almost kind of looks just a tad darker than musk. So if you just have a color like that, but that's just like a tad darker, then just use that. And then go back in with your um, brush for the uh, musk. Take whatever you have left and just kind of blend that out. I'm gonna do the oh shit. I'm gonna do so I'm gonna do oh I'm gonna do I'm gonna go do what I've already done on this eye to this other eye, and I will be right back. Okay.
Okay, we got that done on each eye. I basically did the exact same thing. But what I did is on this eye, I kind of, no, on this eye, I kind of lifted it more uh, because this eye, for some reason, this eye kind of droops a little bit more. You know, look, look what mama needs. No, but this eye kind of droops a little bit more than this one, so I kind of have to like even it out eye-wise. Um, but so as I'm doing this, I feel like something obviously needs to go in the corner. This Lily White color from Mac. All right. I don't know how I feel about it yet. So let's just go ahead and move on to the liner. And then once we put the full makeup on, it obviously, I do this every time, guys. Y'all know this. I get all like, uh, uh, mm. I'm going to use my Inglot liner. Go in with my Inglot number 77. And if you ever have trouble like getting in this corner, just turn your head and just turn your head and look at the same way you were doing it the first time does that make sense like you're looking at it like this but just turn your just turn your head and keep your eye the same Voila. And you got you. So nice. Go ahead and move on to the face. And I'm going to use my Morphe sponge. My Born This Way. I'm going to put on my Juice Beauty Illuminating Primer, which I should have done like in the beginning of this. But I did it, so it's all right. I need to go get some more. But I am, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna use my Kevin Aquan and my Sensual Skin Enhancer. And this is SX08. This has a little bit of a, I really like this tip. It's a little, it might be a little darker, but it's all right. We'll work it out with the concealer. So I'm gonna put some of this on because I really like this stuff. And a little bit goes a long way, guys. So don't feel like you have to put on a whole lot because a little bit does go a very long way. And I'm just going to Beat that into my skin. with my Anastasia lip palette and I'm gonna take this red right here and I'm gonna just put it underneath my eyes to kind of color correct a little bit I've been kind of doing this well I did it yesterday and I like the way it looks so and then what I do is I take my uh, right, my ring finger and I kind of just pat it in there and for my mature ladies try to get it into your creases as much as you can um so it doesn't like crease like you know make any like ugly creases like you want to kind of almost like fill in those creases so just try to and what i do is i move this way backwards forwards and then instead of the front to the back i go back to the front all right and then i'm gonna go ahead and 
put just a little bit of concealer right here because this is all I'm ever, this is all I'm gonna need. And then if I do need to go back in with more, I will. But so I'm gonna just slightly take the tip of my Morphe sponge and just work it in there and move up. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing. Once you're to the top, you're gonna go back to front and you're gonna like really get it into those lines. If you have lines. If you don't, then girl, just cover it. We don't need you to brag. I need to hurry up. My battery's gonna, Oh, my battery's dying. All right, do the same thing on the exact same side. I am gonna go get my other camera so that we can finish it up because I am taking too, too long. Too, too long. All right, guys, I'm back. I uh, went ahead and I finished up the rest of my hair. It looks a little funky, but whatever. Um, if you hear anything in the background, it's because Adrian's home and he is watching football in the living room. So, This next part, this next part might be mostly voiceovers. Sorry, I really was trying to make this a full uh, talk through, but I just, y'all don't want to hear all that. And you're going to hear a lot of fucks and a lot of cursing and a lot of, you know, stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish up this makeup look. I will have everything listed down below. And if you have any questions or comments, please list that all down below. So, let's jump right back into the video and let's go. Alright guys, we're going to go into that sleek um, contour palette. And I'm going to take that first color and we're going to just put it on this big fluffy brush. And let me tell you, I was highly, highly impressed with this. Like... It didn't come out orange or anything. It was very nice and pretty. So I just go ahead and I put this on all the spots that I'm going to contour, which is my forehead, my cheeks, underneath my chin, and I believe I go on the side of my nose with it. But I was really highly impressed. And I found this, I, I don't can't remember if I told y'all, but I found this at Target. And um, I hope they come out with more of their stuff because I am here for it. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe um, brush that I use for normal, mo normally contouring. I can't talk, sorry guys. So I'm going to go in with that, um, the last shade in the palette, the more orangey shade. And it does have a slight shimmer, but don't be scared because it is really nice. Like I really like the way this look, this look on my skin. And I just put this at the very, like beginning of my contour like not I didn't go all the way through with my cheeks like I did the first one and I just had I just went over I don't know why I want to say highlighted but I just went over and I contoured um the same spots and now I'm gonna take this nose contour brush go in with that first color and I'm gonna snatch the nose and get it going and get it this nose looking right I'm gonna take my Morphe sponge and what I do is I just kind of like press it into my skin to kind of blend it out and I'm going back in with that first brush not putting anything on it just whatever's left on it and just blending it all out now I'm gonna take the, the middle color and I'm gonna use that as a highlight this is a really nice like like healthy glow it's not like a super highlight that you're thinking that's gonna just be like bam it's really it looks really nice and healthy on this skin let me just tell you and then i do go in with another highlighter to go over it to kind of give it that pop and you'll see in just a second now 
I'm going to take the Anastasia Glow Palette. I'm going to take that one on the top in the middle. I think it's Warm Sand. And I'm just going to go ahead and use that on a Morphe highlighting brush. And I'm just going to pop that on the very tops of my high points. So the cheeks, the nose, and the top of my brow bones. Using the same color, I'm just going to go in and put it in my, put it on my brow bone and get it going. And now I'm going to go in with that first color that we used, Musk from the Huda Beauty palette. And I'm going to go ahead and blow out my under eyes. And I'm just going to smoke them all out and make it really nice and pretty. And you'll see that I'll go in with the Vice palette and go in with Rowdy and then uh, Tight Line. Like I don't want it to be really dark underneath, but I'll just tight line with it underneath it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put mascara underneath and finish off the eyes. And then I'm going to take my Jordana lip liner in red. I don't have a name on me, but I'll get it and put it down below. And I'm going to go in with my Anastasia lip palette and I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to fill in the rest of my lips. And guys, that is it. Like that is it. That is the final look. And I am really, really loving this look. I love the way it came out. It just looks so like Christmas and let it snow. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.